Moving on from schools and music, we take a trip across the city to another place that's using art, but in a very different way. I've got hundreds of ideas. I've got so many ideas, it's pathetic. I'm doing a series of paintings about homelessness, which was an experience that I never had before. Artists like Luis Mazariego and Daniel Robinson are developing their latest ideas at the Living Museum, an art studio and gallery in San Pedro, a port town south of Los Angeles. It's strategically located next to the harbor, so uh, it's a five-story building. Uh, we have over 200 residents here. And this space that we're in now used to be a handball court. And so, therefore, you have the tall vaulting ceilings and the mezzanine floor. The studio and gallery are housed on the third floor of Harborview House, a mental health facility. The gallery is lined with art created by the facility's residents. When I found out that there's this art studio here, it's quite amazing, as you can see from the environment and the, the sophistication of the people here and the diversity of, of people that you encounter. Good one. This one's turned out real good. This one right here turned out real good. Artists here occupy themselves with a variety of media and work from different inspirations. You mostly work from your imagination? I work from my imagination all the time. Daniel's attention span's going tip, 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 tip. But he's focusing the whole time on doing pictures. He has a storage area that his sister got him that's filled with pictures. This one right here is a picture of the meridian sun, the moon at night, as it begins to come over the horizon. Uh, the, uh, the I was homeless for three months but last year and uh, I'm putting some poems on the paintings like this one says slam and I am out of, on the street just me and my bag of things. We have a diverse group of individuals with some with some training and others that don't have training. I'm from New York City and I went to a high school of art and uh, I had a teacher that, you know, we did all kinds of art disciplines in there. And uh, watercolor was one of my favorites. But I got ill at 19. I got schizophrenia. And at 19 years old in college, I became ill and I couldn't finish my studies. So it's been all my youth, I spent it in hospitals and programs and stuff. Though residents are coping with mental illness, the studio provides a space for creative and educational freedom. As a man, when he's trying to, he's, he's kicking his heels up and doing tap dancing for you. It's originally what really attracted me to this uh, environment was that it's a, it's an art studio. It's not uh, a classroom setting per se. While the studio is a haven for artists, Harbor View House functions primarily as a facility that gives refuge to residents. People are, who live here are comfortable here. This is their home. Oftentimes they've been homeless. We had a festival of Crazy Hat Day, and I won the award. It's Harborview House because uh, Harborview gave me shelter when I needed it the most, you know. I needed a home to stay in uh, Harborview, so as you can see, it's kind of crazy. The studio allows creative therapy for residents and most of the work is also for sale. 60% of the profits from art sales go directly to artists, and 40% funds materials in the studio. But the staff faces obstacles like a faltering mental health budget and attracting an audience to a place that Javier says scares most people away. We try to bring the, the artwork up to a level that is equivalent and, and competing with the community of art studios or galleries in town so that it's not thought of as art of the mentally ill, but just artwork. They're artists, and I always call them our artists. We go to visit art studios or museums. I don't say I'm bringing residents. I'm bringing my artists. Uh, I think it's really easily dispelled. If, if people were to take the time to find out and maybe come up here and meet some of the clients, and uh, you'd find it 
you know, the individuals here encounter the same questions and the same difficulties and that, you know, sometimes have their own insights into things that, just like anybody else.